want to uh, clarify that when we're talking about legal, this whole concept of legal has nothing to do with the law of the Bible or God. It has to do with those that actually have rebelled against him. So the legal system, even in Noah Webster's 1828, uh, takes you down a direction that legal is really like opposite to grace. It's about trying to earn your salvation. It has nothing to do with uh, what the spiritual message is out of the Bible, truth. So when we're, um, when we're talking with the lawyers that work in this legal system, the scribes, they, of course, would have set up a prescribed legal title for those that are going to be part of their audience that deny spirituality and the Messiah. So when we're talking about legal prescription, they, of course, have to have a surname in there. And you have to go check the documents, but most of the birth records, when the parents filled them out, would actually have that word with legal beside it. So you just have to do a little research, especially during the 1990s. Um, the birth records uh, that, uh, that I've seen uh, in Ontario, the ones that the parents filled out at the hospital, known as the statement of birth record, they would actually write beside the surname, put legal surname uniquely, or is it unique that they did not put legal beside given name? Given is a fact, not a fiction. The surname is a grant, and be careful what you take for granted, because it comes with something that's a debt. So in order for them to run a concept that denies grace, forgiveness, cancellation of debt, they operate something that would be something prior to the greatest event, which was the execution of God's will when Christ was executed, which canceled the debt according to Colossians 2, 13 to 15. So, of course, they're going to run a before Christ certificate, a BC, represents you're carrying as a surety, you're going to act as a surety for legal debt. So you're carrying the bond and you're the surety for it. And of course, they have to get you to be induced to carry the bond, to be the holder of it, so that you basically act as the surety for that. Therefore, the legal prescription that they start off with leads to, of course, the BC, which is this little certificate that you're holding, which is the drug, which leads to the money, and the money is the drug. So the mammon comes about and is advanced only through the use of this. So... Once we get this into our minds, we'll understand that the scribes prescribe a title for the purposes of legal, which being the opposite to grace, works in their advantage. Now, when we look at um, Matthew Henry's commentary, and I've read this before, when he's talking about, Woe unto ye lawyers, uh, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge, ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in ye hindered. Interestingly, um, there are other quotes of this uh, in other versions uh, that actually say, Woe unto ye scribes, because they're scribing the law. The legal or the lawyers are the ones scribing all this. So they're the ones doing the prescription or the prescribing of a name so that you would actually be induced to use it and then basically be crossing the line on something that was not yours, but it operates within their system. So the lawyers uh, basically were uh, quite well <laughs> described by Matthew Henry uh, because they control this debtor name, the surname, and they, it says they, uh, they must expect no other than to be reckoned with as the fillers up of the measure of persecution. They keep up the trade, as it were, in succession, and therefore are responsible for the debts of the company. So, understand, the lawyers own the debt. They're the ones that write up this system of prescription and the birth certificate drug. So, they're responsible for this debtor company that they've actually uh, put in place uh, for the purpose of working opposite to what... Christ came to do. So the lawyers are not called the devil's advocates just by chance. Uh, they advocate your right to actually surety your own sin. 
and sell your own debt. And that's why the system operates as it is. Now, certainly God's people, uh, if they're going to come out, it would lead to the cancellation of this certificate because they shouldn't be carrying it. And in fact, in all the research I ever found on anything to do in the Roman civil law on certificate history, the only one I could find was a certificate of libelli, which was carried by those who had denied Jesus Christ, who were once believers, and now had made sacrifices to the Roman gods or Caesar. So certainly does not have a good feel about it. And because the certificate is representing debt, um, you're actually walking with something that denies the whole concept of the forgiveness and the grace that Christ brought. So uh, if, you're, if you're there um, with this certificate and you're using it, then you're on the opposite side. And certainly we can't get salvation uh, through working contrary to what the scriptures state and what the charter for all believers are, which is the Bible. You're working under another charter written by these lawyers who have written up a corporate charter that works contrary to truth.